I laid 11 with Utah against Arizona State. Like I, I know ASU has been a lot better in recent weeks. Easily could have beaten UW in Seattle and, and then broke through against Wazoo yeah. last week. But I, I just think that the situation here on the spot for both of these teams, they got ASU coming off the emotional high of finally getting that win against Wazoo. A big win for them. Utah got absolutely drilled at home in its last game by Oregon. And I would expect that Kyle Whittingham and Morgan Staley would kind of figure that defense out and kind of have them uh, back on track against this, against ASU this week. I, I I can't imagine them dropping consecutive home games. Uh, yeah, I'm laying double digits yeah. with, with, with the Utes. And again, the Utah offense is not great by any means, but, but uh, this is more of a in, in Utah defense I trust. Yeah. This could be one of those... 27 13 kind of games. So that's right. It's funny. That's right. The total, the total is 41, is 40? 41 and a half. Yeah. Um, I took the under in this game. Utah has gone under in all their games outside of the USC game, which again, no one goes under against USC. And then they scored a light touching uh, against Cal. But think about Arizona State's interesting because they had not scored a lot of points till this past weekend. No. Um, and they have struggled to score points. Now you're going on the road at a Utah team that, you know, still has a lot to play for. They're a prideful team and they didn't play well got to Oregon. So I think that Utah, to your point about what this number, you know, 27, 10, like that, like that's certainly is a situation where Arizona State just can't score in this game and Utah gets back on track. They, their offense, Utah's offense can't score, but had been pretty okay against everyone besides Oregon. Like they, they've moved the ball against Cal. They moved the ball against USC. Arizona State's defense is not those teams. Pretty okay against teams outside of Oregon. That, 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 that's a motto and a goal and words to live by. We want, we want so. to be pretty okay against yeah. teams outside of Oregon. Their points per drive are less than Iowa, though. <laughs> it's just, but again, they, they, they've done better against the bad defenses. Arizona State's defense is not terribly good. I'm with you here. I like the under in that one as well. I'm going back west for my best bet as I've done. I'm going back to the well. I took Arizona last week. I'm taking them again this week at plus three. They're hosting UCLA. Arizona might be the second best team in the Pac-12 Conference right now. What UCLA does best, it's, it's unlike chip teams, right? They're great on defense. Their front four might be the best in the entire country, but Arizona, guys, has an offensive line that's pretty good. They have a, a left tackle going the first round. That matchup between him and Law 2 might determine if, if I cover this game. More, more than anything else, though, Arizona, again, they're playing good football. Defensively, they're 54th right now, points per drive. They're much better than they were last season. They're at home again. The desert is where teams go to die. We talked about this last weekend as well. And UCLA is, is worse on the road. The quarterback situation is not great in, in, uh, in, in Westwood as well. They're rotating guys through. So I'm going back to the well. Arizona plus three here, Barry. Yeah, yeah. How, how about that? Like Gar you, you bring in Garbers to avoid the interceptions from Dante Moore, and you get well, last week was a was bad. Yeah, yeah. just total. But Arizona, I, Arizona's playing good football. I know they like, are. Like they're put like they're putting it together. Jed Fish came in there and said, "We're going to fix the offense first. They did that this offseason. They spent fixing the defense. It's, it's what Lincoln Riley wanted to do at USC, which is right. we're going to do offense first, defense next. And it, Jed Fish actually done it to Arizona. Correct. They they bottomed out. He did it the right. Like okay, we 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 are not going yeah. to be good, but you got to strip it down to the nuts and bolts and then rebuild it. And he's done that and. Uh, when they move into the Big 12 next year, they'll, they'll be they'll be in a much better position. Hopefully, for Arizona's sake, uh, yeah. Jed Fish will still will still be there. So that's it. That's my bet. That's it. Yeah. Bear Bets full episodes drop twice a week right here on the Bear Bets YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe to stay ahead of the odds, and let's celebrate all of our wins together.